What's going on guys? In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to shoot an advanced window pool with two windows, just like this. How's it going guys? Jonathan from Gons Media Productions here. And if we're just meeting for the first time, I help real estate creatives make the most out of their business. So if you're new here, consider subscribing. Um, today, I'm gonna be showing you guys an advanced window pool tutorial. What makes it advanced is that there's gonna be two large windows in this photograph. So there's gonna be a lot of moving around with in, in terms of lighting. So I'm gonna have to go from one spot to another to make sure that the whole room is properly lit. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. Cool, so first, considering the fact that we've already got all of our composition set up and all of our staging laid out already, we've got the lights turned on, we're gonna go ahead and get started here. So the first things first is what I like to do, I like to make sure my ISO is at 320, that's always my baseline, especially for interiors. I might fray away from that outside, but today we're inside, so we'll stick at 320. My f-stop is usually at an f8 I like to make sure that everything is in focus and lastly the the shutter speed is gonna vary depending on the lighting in the room so what I first like to do is I like to make sure that I'm exposed one stop over for my ambient shot so here I have my trigger off and I'm at 1 over 8 shutter speed and I'm gonna go ahead and set a two second timer here I'm gonna go ahead and make sure that I'm in focus by setting a focus point way out in the distance and once I have that set up now once I have my focus point set up, I'm going to go ahead and take the first ambient shot and I'll go ahead and fire away. So there's that shot there. So as we can see here, we get a lot of light. The two windows, there's a lot of light coming in. It's really overexposed outside. And some of the lighting is in terms of above the chandelier are not the greatest. So once we have that shot, we'll go ahead and change our shutter speed to 1 over 100, which is pretty much the typical shutter speed that I go for for a flash shot. Once I have 1 over 100, I'll go ahead and take this on. And I'm working here with a Godox 8200. So it's not the most powerful of lights. So for that reason, I'm going to go ahead and be at about half to almost a full power. So once I have my lighting set up and my composition, I'm not moving anything in terms of the tripod. I'll go ahead and point this at the ceiling and fire away here. So there we go, as you can see in this shot, we have the couch and the table area here nicely lit up. The dining area back that way is a little too dim. And as you can see, we have a nice, nice big reflection in the window. So that's something we're gonna wanna get rid of later. So we'll go ahead and leave that shot. We're okay with that. I'm gonna go ahead and leave the shutter speed as well as the flash power. I'll change my timer to a five second timer and we're gonna walk over to the dining room now. So go ahead and hit that button, bring my flash with me. Pointed directly at the ceiling in the area of the dining room. Now let's take a look at our photo. And as we can see, it is perfectly lit. So that's exactly what we want out of that image. Um, we do have some lighting coming over and spilling over into this way, which is not a bad thing. Um, that could be used to our advantage. So now that we have the ambient and the two flash shots, we're gonna wanna shoot our window pools now. Being that there's two windows, there's gonna be two window pool shots. So I'll go ahead and change my shutter speed to about one over 200. I'll change my flash power to about a quarter. And without moving my composition or anything like that, I'll go ahead and change my timer to a two second timer again. Hit that button. And as you can see, I pointed directly at the window. So by pointing at the window, this is gonna create brightness in this whole area in front of, on the inside, and everything outside is gonna be perfectly exposed. Now, as you can see with this setup, there's actually a tint on these windows that the owner put in on the outside. So it's a little bit harder to see out than in most situ situations. So with that said, you can see a reflection here on the left side of the photo. So we're just gonna go ahead and retake that from another angle. So I'll go ahead and set a five second timer and I'm gonna walk over this way. Pointed at the same window from the other side. In that photograph, we can now see there's a reflection on the opposite side. So we're gonna use half of one window on, in, in one image and half of the other in another image. All right guys, now moving over to the other side, we're gonna go ahead and shoot the dining room window now. So now I have my five second timer set up. And as you'll notice, when I come and take these shots, I'm at a little bit of an angle on the window. I'm not shooting directly on like this, but I'm coming at an angle and making sure that the flash 
doesn't have, I'm limiting my reflections in the window. So we'll go ahead and look at that image there. And as you can see, we can see through the window perfectly. So when you take these photos into post, you're gonna go ahead and put these all in, in layers and line them up and make sure that you mask out the parts that you want and the parts that you don't. Um, if you guys are interested in a tutorial for that, let me know. Otherwise, if you guys enjoyed this video or if you found it helpful, please feel free to hit the like and subscribe button down below. And if you have any questions, drop a comment. I'm happy to engage with you guys down there. Thanks for watching guys, peace.